welcome back to the vlog. It is your host Rob. I'm here at I-25 Kia again. So today is exciting, but today we're going to a racetrack. You may be asking yourself, why am I going to a racetrack? But I think you know the answer. Today we're taking a rear wheel drive, a Stinger, and we're gonna compare it to an all wheel drive Stinger. We have a really good friend of I-25 Kia, Nick. He's a professional driver. And then we also have Joe Cross, who is I-25 Kia Stinger specialist. But join along for the ride. All right, we are on the move. I'm here with Joe. What's up, guys? Hey, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob. I don't even know what we're doing. This is kind of last minute, but we're going to the High Plains Raceway, which is not what I was thinking it was. I thought it was a circle. It's a road course. Have you ever driven it? Once. Well, now we got stingers. We got stingers. Comparing the rear wheel drive with the all wheel drive. I don't even know the difference. Well, first off, the rear wheel drive's lighter. It's about 400 pounds lighter. So we're expecting that one? Well, we'll see. Now on the straights, <laughs> maybe, but when you get into the turns, the all wheel drive is going to set the precedent okay. because it has all wheel drive pulling it through the corners where our rear wheel drive is just going to be pushing through the corners. Okay. The all-wheel drive, the front wheels will kind of pull it through. So it actually will handle the corners a lot better. So this is actually a better racetrack for us to do this on anyway. Right. Because it's got more turns and more straightaways. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get to High Plains Raceway, we're in yeah. the rear wheel drive, right? We're in the rear wheel. We're in the rear wheel drive, all-wheel drive stinger. Nick's gonna be driving it around the track. But we're gonna do hot laps. What are hot laps? Hot laps essentially are just laps. And you're not competing against anybody. You're just competing against time. So There's no yeah. danger of dying. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've arrived at the track. All right, so we're all packed into the car. We're in the all-wheel drive stinger right now, but we made it to the raceway, and this is Nick. Hello, I'm Nick Tragis. I run Boulder Sports Management, which is primarily a professional cycling company. We do coaching and team management at all levels of the sport, and every once in a while, I fake it as a race car driver. This one's super fun because it's turned in early. If you mess up this one down here, you end up in a swamp, which flips the car over. <laughs> <laughs> How good's your insurance? <laughs> How excited are you right now? I'm dude, I'm stoked. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Never raced on a racetrack before, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it without a helmet. So let me get this helmet. One helmet, let's go. First time putting on these helmets. Does it fit? <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, let's go. These helmets are so funny. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> good? All good. Whoo! Hold on, Robbie Rob. I'm going fast. Him. I can catch him. 120. Well, that was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? That was super fun. Are you having fun? Oh yeah. How long have you been driving cars like this? Since I was 15. Jeez, that's awesome. Doing it where like my parents knew about it since maybe I was 20. <laughs> what do you think of the Stinger? You know, it's really pretty impressive. For like a Grand Tour, it's a little soft, like it's made for highway miles and whatnot, but when you give it some stink, it, it responds. It's got some pretty nice mechanical grip. It looks fun to drive, but I don't want to be on this track driving like this. All you got to remember is hit the right brake marker up here. Just well, I was pumping the brakes to test them because we were sitting in the pits for a while and their brakes will heat soak because they're sitting. So the first time out, I'll always double pump them to make sure that everything's working okay. Because the worst feeling is when your brake pedal goes to the floor. And it's most likely to do that coming out of the pits right after everything's been sitting around. Right? Brakes are designed to have air flowing over them, so they're a lot cooler when we're doing this than when they're just sitting around. Gotcha. Yeah, I can only imagine how hot it gets in a full racing suit. So when you're doing like real racing, they'll uh, run like cooling tubes through the suit because obviously the cars will get well over 100 degrees. Jeez. My head feels like it's 100 degrees. Yeah. What's the most important rule? Look ahead. Look ahead. Don't get lost on the racetrack. It's like the smartest thing I've heard all day. It's kind of a metaphor for life if you think about it. We're going for it.
Istanbul for a family grand tour. mechanical grip in the rear wheel drive. See that makes this car so much more confidence inspiring than the all-wheel drive one that I was pushing it much closer to the limit. Yeah, this car is a lot of fun to drive. Absolutely my pick hands down. Far more mechanical grip. So we drove the rear wheel drive Stinger versus the all wheel drive Stinger. I believe these are the GT models if I'm not mistaken. Both are super amazing cars for a grand touring car. They've got plenty of get up, nice and comfortable, um, lots of grip. Rear wheel drive Stinger, as you probably predict, is quite a bit faster in a track environment. I we are six seconds faster um, with the same tires and same driver, which is pretty noteworthy. Really, just, it's a little more confidence inspiring at the limit, a lot more mechanical grip. So if I was gonna go thrash around, do track days, canyon carving, I'd probably pick the rear wheel drive Stinger. If I was going to commute to work an hour each way and wanted something a little more comfortable, a little more hands-off, if you will, I'd probably pick the all-wheel drive stinger. That was so much fun. Thank you, Nick. My pleasure. For keeping me safe. Anytime. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I'm a fan of the rear-wheel drive, but that's just because I'm a rear-wheel drive kid. He called it. I, I, I called it. <laughs> like I've said before, this is the first time I've ever been on a racetrack going like 120 miles per hour. Actually, I don't even know what our top speed was, but we were going fast. And it's hot in those helmets. Look at how much I'm sweating. <laughs> that was so gross. I'm sorry. Thank you for all of your amenities, high plane raceways. But yeah, there you have it. The rear-wheel drive won. All right, Joe. I am a sweaty, sweaty man. How much fun was that? That was probably more fun than it should have been. Weren't you supposed to be working today? I was supposed to be working today. <laughs> so if you came down to the dealership looking for me, I wasn't there. My excuse is, I was here in a Stinger. 2018, 365 horsepower. Thank you to Phil for uh, putting on this track day for us today. It was a lot of fun. I basically got paid to come play with the Stinger. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Best day at work ever, Rob. That was a phenomenal day at work. It doesn't get much better than that. Let's go back to the studio. My goodness. That was one of the craziest things I've ever done in my whole life. That was nuts. Just like Joe predicted, the rear wheel drive outperformed the all wheel drive. Whew. I am tired. I'm still sweating too. Ugh. We stopped driving about two hours ago. I'm still pumped full of adrenaline. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'd like to thank I-25 Kia and Phil for letting me go. I mean, goodness, this is my job. I get to go do this, race stingers around the racetrack. Whew, it's a lot to take in. But anyway, check back next week, guys. And if you have any questions about these stingers, make sure to go talk to Joe Cross. There's lots of things that I was asking about cars that I didn't even document today, and I learned so much. Today was the most fun I've had all year, easily. But like always, have a great day. Like and subscribe. Bye.